This is the Malibu stand at the CMT Trade Fair. Today is Saturday the 19th of January 2019 and uh, somebody, I saw a comment on one of my things, so while you sort of just walking around uh, put a bit of music on, that's something interesting, why aren't you talking? Now the reason uh, I don't normally talk when there's people around me is first of all, if I'm in a rat van and I'm showing people, uh, it's quite difficult. For example, you can see there's people there talking business or something like that, and they don't necessarily want to be filmed. Uh, and uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is when some, there's other people around, it can put me off. And not only that, because people can start looking at me and talking to me, and then I've forgotten <laughs> what I was saying. So that is uh, one of the difficulties. Um, so, so that's why I prefer just to put music. But the uh, final reason is that you can get music in, in the background, which is copyright, uh, particularly before people come in. At the moment, you see there's stacks of people in here, and it's... Uh, right, there isn't much. There was some something down at the bottom there, which I don't know if that's copyright or not, but I presume it is, to be quite honest. But uh, I've now got to a stage with this uh, YouTube block, is that... Uh, I can't risk having copyright music on the you know when I had like, three or four views a month then it you know it didn't make any difference and even some of my videos I've used things I've used soundtracks for example in I was in Switzerland and I used the soundtrack to on a mighty secret service uh, that was more than 10 years ago and uh, so but now I've taken off on her Majesty's secret service I've even got one film in on the soundtrack to the 1995 James Bond film uh, Goldeneye, there's a track called A Pleasant Drive in St. Petersburg when James Bond's in the tank and, uh, and he's driving through the streets. Now anyway, I was driving through the streets in St. Petersburg and I used this track as my background music that was in October uh, 2009. I had to, because of the copyright reasons obviously, I had to take it off. And uh, so it's now called A Pleasant Ride in St. Petersburg, but I put some other background music on, which is copyright free. So it's no longer A Pleasant Drive in St. Petersburg, although I kept the title. Um, it's not the original bit of music. Now, uh, to make the point about going the vehicle and filming, you can see it's not really possible with this amount of people here. Uh, occasionally I get people saying, I don't want to be in the... Uh, you fill. Are you going to publish that? What's that for? And so clearly, I mean, in a situation like that, I've got to respect their wishes. Uh, although there are those characters who will stand in front of a camera and then and then complain that you filmed them. Right. So I really wanted to show you around the Malibu. Hey, no, I can't even go in there. See, I can't even get into any of these vehicles to to show you. Uh, hey, I'm sure there you are. Light construction technology. On Malibu like construction technology and this is one thing you see now is bigger and bigger vans and uh, weighing under three tons empty and this is really very uh, impressive it's not just a Malibu stand I've got to say as I've seen this on uh, lots of stands I mean yesterday I was I filmed an LMC van that was the gimbal kicking uh, I filmed an LMC van which I think is eight, eight meters in length or just under and it's really well kitted out inside, 3,300 uh, kilos uh, empty. And I said, well, you can just about put that on the three and a half ton basis. Well, you could do, couldn't you, really? Uh, um, but it's, it was an example of how you can get to uh, the state of... Uh, no, somebody recognised me. <laughs> uh, it's an example of how, how light things are getting. Now, okay, just, uh, this Malibu, a company of Carth Carthago, as you can see up there. And uh, so my first van was a Malibu uh, T4 uh, Volkswagen. That was in 1992. Malibu went into business in 1979. So this is 40 years in business. Yeah. The uh, gimbals uh, playing up. Um, in 2015, I think it was, they started producing motorhomes as well. It's supposedly a sort of a cheap car to go, but the um, the difference is becoming less and less clear. I mean, it's, it looks a bit cheaper, but I mean, trying to make 
a motorhome which is cheaper than your, your main brand is not that easy in fact and um, a lot of the things for example the construction time it's human time which has been used that's going to cost the same so trying to do things on slightly cheaper materials that is the that's that's the challenge there and that's one of the reasons i i would say from a marketing point of view you'd have to speak to a brand manager in one of these uh, companies that is involved in for example uh, market positioning and that, that type of thing get their opinion but i personally think it's a rather difficult thing to achieve it's not like that's a gimbal it's not me i'm, I'm my hands uh, uh, steady uh, it's not like, for example, getting uh, the way you have branding with cheaper brands, supermarkets, own brands, cheaper uh, supermarkets, brands which are a bit better than the cheap ones. You've got the, the brands such as Nescafe or something like that, and you get the, the, you get the super in, in developed uh, markets. You get the super supermarket brand, which is better than the, the uh, brand such as Nescafe, for example. You can't really do that with products such as this, where the, um, where the main cost to a large extent is human labor and the base vehicle because if you have a base which is a uh, let's say a 1971 um, Ford Transit and a 2018 19 Ford Transit uh, the work that goes on top of that vehicle is the is the same so it's not a way of actually saving money. Anyway, so I make I make that point. I'm sure that the people who uh, thought of these things know more about business than me. I mean, somebody said the only thing they're looking at is sales figures, and if that is the case, that, that's wrong. The thing you should look at is profit, not sales figures. Totally different things. Anyway, this is a talk about motorhomes and not about uh, about business. I had this idea of doing a business channel with maybe one of my friends. His name is Uncle Davey. His uh, YouTube site is Use Net Post. He's done Russian language courses and he does sort of travel things like I do. Sort of walks around and talks about things. Something rather similar. Anyway, he started doing this at the same time as I did in 2006. Um, so anyway, uh, that is a walk around the uh, Malibu stand here. Um, say Malibu van, van best in class well everybody says the same thing um, you can see the inside of these vans in separate films here's one because I occasionally do it when there's no one else around but it's difficult it really is difficult to get the opportunity to film when there's no one around and now you know the reason why I sometimes put music over um, because at the time that you know the, the cleaning staff are in, it's usually because they've got Michael Jackson or somebody on in the background. Okay, so let's finish this with a bit of um, uh, Michael Jackson. Fortunately, he's not here. I haven't got any of net records. I'm going to have to sing it myself. So she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene. Uh, oh dear, I can't remember the words now. I said, "What do you mean? I am the one that hamsters, not my son." Right, so you can join in the singing now. Do you want to see some more films from other places? Well, I shall go and do that right now.